Does that answer? But no answer? No one. So parang may nasay, at yung susunod na sagot. August, diniscuss natin ang topic about unconditional election. Kaya naman may nasay, kasi may pinili sa Lord. Before you were born, before you did, before you do anything good or bad, before the foundation of the world, bago na karoon ng time, bago na karoon ng space, bago na karoon ng matter, sin or unseen, God chose people to be His. Ngayon, then I have a question, another question. Ano ang paraan then para ang mga tao na kasala ay napatawan? My answer is, Okay, meron lang, meron lang medyo weird na adjective na etiquette sa word na atonement which is limited. Yun ang ating discuss for the whole month. Now, huwag uh, uh, natin magpatupit-tupit, let's go to our text. The text is Isaiah 53. Isaiah 53 is one of the neglected Bible verses. Kasi medyo hardcore, yun naman. But yun ang sabihin, SPG. Baka magugulat ang iba sa inyo ngayon nyo lang na narinig itong mga word na ito. Pero as Pastor Jim said, kailangan natin i-pitch sa tulpit nito bilang faithful church of God ang buong counsel of God. Okay, sabi, mag-uusap po tayo sa verse 4. Sabi niya, Surely He took our infirmities and carried our sorrows. Yet we considered Him stricken by God, smitten by Him, and afflicted. Question. Sino ang nanakit? Sino ang nag-crush kay Jesus Christ? Sabi ito, stricken by God. Wow, that's true. Verse 5. But He was pierced for our transgression. He was crushed for our iniquities. The punishment that brought us peace was upon Him. And by His wounds we are healed. We all like sheep have gone astray. Each of us has turned to his own way, and the Lord has laid on him the iniquity of us all. Na imagine yung ang isang isang tupahan, tapos maraming tupa. Yung mga tupa na katakuan sa musan sa sabu, kana. Sabi nito, gusto ko niya masaya. We all. Like sheep, have cast. Lahat tayo sumablay. Walang tamang direksyon. Gumulo. Each of us has turned to his own way. Instead of staying in God's way, we have turned to our own way. Sabi niya. And then he said, And the Lord has laid on him the iniquity of us. Verse 7. He was oppressed and afflicted, yet he did open his mouth. He was led like a lamb to the slaughter and as a sheep before her shears is silent. So that he did not open his mouth. By your pressure judgment he was taken away and who can speak of his descendants? For he was cut off from the land of the living. For the transgressions of my people he was stricken. He was assigned a grave with the wicked and with the rich, in his death, though he had no violence, nor was any deceit in his mouth. Verse 10. Perhaps this is the core, and this is the hardcore part of this verse. Sabi yan. Yet it was the Lord's will to crush him, and cause him to suffer. And though the Lord makes his life a guilt offering, he will see his offspring and prolong his days. And the will of the Lord will prosper in his hands. After the suffering of his soul, he will see light of life and be satisfied. By his knowledge, my righteous servant will justify many. And he will bear their iniquities. Verse 12. Therefore, I will give him a portion among the great, and he will divide the spoils to the strong, because he poured out his life unto death and was numbered with the transgressors. For he bore the sins of many and made intercession for transgression. The central theme and the central topic of this chapter of the Bible is about atonement. 
Can anybody say atonement? Ang English word ng atonement is at one man. Meron dalawang dating magkahiwalay at pinag-isa. Pero yun ang isa. Yun ang tema ng atonement. What's atonement? Sabi sa, sabi sa dictionary, atonement is a reparation of a wrong committed. Kasi sabi reparation, it is a payment, it is a retribution. So, minsan narinig natin yung atonement sa Filipino word as pagtutubos, pagbayan, may mga gumagamit na picture ng word na pangpalupag loob, o kaya pagtatakip, paglilinis. In Christian theology, the reconciliation of God and humankind through Jesus Christ is called atonement. Now, the Hebrew word for atonement is this. Uh, the Hebrew word translated atonement is kapar or kapur, meaning to cover. Narating yung Passover. Nung panahon ng Israelites, sila pa ay nasa Egypt. Uh, sabi ng Lord, I will kill lahat ng panganay ng mga nasa Egypt. Pero I will pass over those who have blood to sa hambaan ka lang. Bye. And the same thing is the idea. Sabi ito, kapur means, kapar means to cover over or to pass over. This suggests that through the act of atonement, sin was covered so that God no longer sees sin. Through the OD, the, the covering is achieved with the blood of an innocent animal whose innocence rendered the repentance innocent as well. Got the idea? Mas may hindi natin siya kung pupunta natin yung pinagalingan. Limitico 6. Sa isang atonement, marami kang element na kailangan tingnan. Una, the high priest. Itong priest na to, siya yung gumagawa ng mga procedures on, to, on how to do atonement every year. So ngayon, ang kunwari ako yung isang high priest, kailan may bago ako mag- when I perform an atonement, I have to do other ceremonies. I have to do ceremonies. I have to offer a pool for my own sins and the sins of my family. And then I can offer something else for the people of Israel. So that's, that's, that's the element number one, a high priest. Now, I think that the high priest has a altar. That's what you call the mercy seat. You can offer your mahala, you offer. Now, the second element of atonement, they are two goats. Dalawa kaming. Ang una ay para mamatay. Next slide, please. Ang kanyang dugo ay you offer dun sa altar. At ang pangalawa ay tinatawag next king goat. Ang una daw na kaming ay symbolize ng atonement or appeasement of God's wrath. Kailangan may mamalay. At yung isa, ipapato ng mga tao ang kanilang kamay doon para mga hands para isimplize na nag-transfer yung sin ng tao to that go at papalayasin. God is a very reconciliatory God at ginawa niya itong procedure na ito so that His people they be kept and clean or that they may be forgiven. But unfortunately, my flow itong Lord ito. It is already obsolete because we are just a copy of the true atonement that God has been designing in the eternity past through Jesus Christ. The cross. So, imagine yung Jesus Christ is the Lamb that was slain. And Jesus Christ is the Lamb that takes away the sin of the world. Hindi yun kaya gawin ng kambing lang. Dalawang kambing pa yun. He is the priest that offered not the blood of the bulls or blood of the goats, but he offered his own innocent blood for us. Ang atonement on the Old Testament, taon-taon. Taon-taon nilang ginagawa. But Jesus Christ did it once for all. Please consider these verses. Next slide, please.
Sabi niya sa Hebrews, uh, Hebrews uh, 9 verse 11 to 14, sabi po niya dyan, When Christ came as a high priest of good things that are already here, He went to a greater and more perfect tabernacle that is not man-made. To say, to, that is to say, not a part of creation. So yeah, He did not enter by means of the blood of the goats and cows, but He entered the most holy place once for all by His own blood. Having obtained eternal Redemption. Yung, yung, yung atonements of all this, like these are all just symbols passing over, pero the final atonement is made by Jesus Christ. Sa iba nga nito, the blood of the goats and bulls and the ashes of the heifer sprinkled on those who are ceremonially unclean, sanctify them so that they are outwardly, pasin nga, outwardly, Malinis sila outwardly. How much more then, sabi ni, sabi ni nung writer ng Hebrews, with the blood of Jesus, with the blood of Christ, who to the eternal spirit offered himself unblemished to God, cleansed our conscience from the acts that lead to them, so that we deserve the living God. Next verse. It was necessary then, sabi sa Hebrews 9, 20 to 26, for the copy of the heavenly realms to be purified with the sacrifices, but the heavenly things themselves with better sacrifices than these. For, sabi nito sa 24, for Christ did not enter in a man-made sanctuary that is a copy of a true one. Yung atonement in the Old Testament is just a very copy. Ito si Jesus Christ is the origin. Sabi nito, he entered heaven himself and now to appear for us in God's presence. Nor did he not, nor did he enter heaven to offer himself again and again, just like just like the atonement and taon, taon, taon. The way the high priest enters the most holy place every year with the blood, not his own. Then Christ would have suffered many times since the creation of the world, but now he has appeared once for all at the end of the ages to do away with sin yes. by sacrificing himself. Let me last, last slide. And last slide about this. Why is Jesus sacrificed better? Next. Just as one man has to die once and after the face judgment, so Christ has sacrificed once to take away the sins of many people and he will appear the second time not to bear sin but to bring salvation to those who are waiting for him. May, may nagtanong kay Kuya, kay Kuya Raymond kahapon sa isang Facebook forum, sabi, do I have to follow, do I have to follow Israel's rules in the Old Testament? And I ask, is siya, siya ba ay Kudyo? Hindi. Kung susundan niya yung mga rules niya, for, for him to get justified, wala siya mga pala. Justification, redemption, atonement can only be found in Christ. My thing for today is this, family. Limited atonement, understanding the nature of Christ's atonement. So, kung nagayin natin yung atonement, hindi lang yan pagbabayad, hindi lang yan pagtutubos, hindi lang yan Pagpalubad-loob. Tapos pwede mo isipin, kaya kong gawin yan. Pagpalubad lang pala loob, di ba? Hindi mga kapatid eh. Yung atonement ni Jesus Christ is something different, something unique, something that cannot be replicated. Kaya lang kala mga kapatid, may hindihan natin yung nature. Ano ba meron sa atonement na yan? Bakit it is much better than anything that the law can provide or anybody else can provide. So mga kapatid, engage your mind. Engage your mind. Talagang pag-isipan niyo yung sinasabi ko. Remember, I'm not preaching to you from my own conviction. I'm preaching to you the Word of God. Even my conviction could be wrong, but word, but the Word of God can never be wrong. Amen? So pag-sikang pala nito. Okay. <clears throat> Number one, it is substitution 
Ito na, nagbubuli na naman ako. It is substitution natin. Okay. Nakagawa yan ha. Parang revolutionary. It is substitutionary. Kung meron tayong kailangan maintindihan sa atonement of Jesus Christ, is sa mga karakteristik at sa mga nature ng atonement ay substitutionary. Ano yung sabihin ng substitutionary? From the word substitution. Parang ito, may magkapatid sa bahay. Ano ko, alam na alam ko ito. Yung kapatid mo ang nagkamali, ikaw yun ang parusahan. Dahil ma, ako na lang ang magkasala. Ako na lang nga. Galing mo, galing mo. That's a good illustration, ma. In this, na ikaw ang maparusahan. Somebody else is stepping. Ako po ang nagkamali. Definitely. Pwede kong gamitin yung yung colloquial term ng mga nasa worker, ay uh, mga nasa ng trabaho. Ah, uh, ito para pinagtakpan. Here's the thing. One of, one of the practices, one of the nature of atonement of Jesus Christ is it is substitutionary. Like better exchange. Meaning, Christ received our just penalty on behalf of sinners. Pasing itong verse. Verse 4, sabi niya, Surely He took up our infirmities. And what? He carried our sorrows. Sabi niya, Yet we consider Him speaking by God and smitten. Verse 5, He was pierced for our transgression. Who's that? Kasi naman, kasi naman sa akin. Tayo. Kasi naman na pierced. Jesus Christ. Ano ba? He was crushed. Alam niyo ba yung crush? Pinurok. Pinasan. Pero kanyang ang sala. Sabi niya, He was crushed for our iniquities. So basically, I'm saying, if this is substitutionary, it means there is an exchange. Somebody died in replacement of another. And somebody was awarded in place of another. Sabi niya, the punishment that brought us peace was upon him. Anong idea doon? Di ba we are at war with God? Lahat ng mga sinners are at war with God. We are dead. We are enemies of God. We are objects of God's wrath. Ephesians 2. Pero sinasabi dito, the punishment that brought us peace. Ano yung peace? Meron nagkaroon tayo ng reconciliation with God. Ba't tayo nagkaroon ng reconciliation? Di ba dapat tayo parusahan? Ang tumanggap ng parusa ay sa Jesus Christ. Kaya meron kang tinatamasa ang peace with God today. Kung meron man, we owe it all to Jesus Christ. But di ba lang? The punishment that brought us peace was a punishment by His wounds. May I help? Yung mga latay, yung mga blues na tinanggap niya sa cross, it should be yours. It should be mine. Ito, ito. Next verse. Sabi niya, We all like sheep have gone astray and each of us has turned in his own way and the Lord has laid on him the iniquity of us all. What's the idea? Yung kasalanan mo, he totally assumed it. Parang gato, nakita yung sigurance dito, meron siya patong na sinis likod niya. May lahat na hirap siya. You know what God did? May pinatong ngayon sa kanyang mungtong na anak ka. Yung parusa na parang kay Pedens, pending white light na holy light of God na wala makakatayo kay Jesus siya yung binigay. Next. Next bro. Sabi niya, by your pressure and judgment he was taken away, sa mga dulo, for the transgressions of my people, he was stricken. Alam mo sabi stricken? Stricken. Ano ba, may tapak ako? Imbis na, imbis na si Pastor Albert ang tagayin ko, ang pinta na gano'n sa'yo. Okay na ba sa'yo? Si Brother Jude, nakuha niyo? Pero ito ang idea. Siya ay inusin. Ito yung, ito yung may sala. Pero instead of him, siya yung tinaga ko. At hindi ko lang tapos sa tinaga, pinili ko siya yung tagain. Ito pa, he sacrificed himself for him. That's what Jesus did. 
Say, so, hurry up, hurry up, Apart from the grace of God, we are enemies of God. And we can do nothing to appease His wrath, but in any way. Jesus Christ. Next slide. <clears throat> Next slide, please. Why do you need substitute? Number one. Next. No one is righteous. Did you say the Bible? No one is righteous, no, not even one. So, question, who can atone for his own sins? Di ba ang requirement sa isang, ang requirement sa atone, merong buhay na innocent? Eh, walang innocent sa atin. Kailangan, kaya kailangan ang substitute. Nung Old Testament, ang substitute ay yung innocent lamb. Pero again, the lamb is just outwardly cleaning those people. At nung panahon pa ng Odi, yun ang puso, napatawa naman ako na Lord, pag nag-offer ako eh. Remember, no one is righteous. And no one can atone for his own sin. And we have read in Hebrews na wala sa creation ang perfectly makakakover ng sin ng tao. Next, no one can atone for his own sin. And sabi nga nito, no one can bring sacrifice for someone as a sin with his own life. Ano yung sabi nun? Kahit si Brother June, uh, hypothetically, Malilis sa kanyang buhay, yung kanyang buhay is still not enough to abyss my wrath. Kulari ang sword against Father Albert. Somebody, somebody that's more infinite, more powerful, holy, inside and out, as to him. Next. And finally, no one can endure God's wrath. Since sabi sa Bible eh, since at nung Nung si Lord ang sa bundok Sinai ng panahon ni Moses, nag-atari yung mga tao. Kulog at kinad pa lang. Hindi pa sila siya nagpapakita, parang kung nagpapakita siya. Angel pa lang makamatay na tao. No one can endure as well. That's why there should be a substitute. Next time. So what, what are the points? Ito po mga puntos. Number one, Jesus for the punishment and consequences of sins of many men and namely the griefs and sorrows of life that's supposed to be ours. Kaya meron kang karapatan at meron kang obligasyon pag sa'yo ngayon, alam niyo ba bakit? God took your sorrows correctly if you're a Christian. Next. Jesus suffered not because of his own sin. In fact, he has none. But for us, next slide, next point. Jesus suffered sufficiently shorter the consequences of sin and the righteous wrath of God is served by sins. Nakuha niyo hindi yan? Bakit rin ito po yan? Yung kanilang illustration ko, si Gwetes, pitpit niya yung kasalanan niya. At yung kasalanan niya na yun, may kanang patang parusan. Pero ang ginawa ni Lord, pinigay niya kanya sa kanyang anak na si Jesus Christ, at lahat ng karapat dapat parusas sa kasalanan na yung anak ni Jesus Christ na. At hindi lang kasalanan ni Pwedes, kasalanan ni Kuya Hari, kasalanan ni Anani Sola, kasalanan ni Ander Ray, kasalanan ni... Lahat, lahat tayo! Kasalanan. Imagine! Imagine! Lahat ng dos na para sa'yo na abon sa kanya. Lahat ng galit ng Diyos na para sa'yo. Endure na kanyang kaya sa isang anak na walang How? Is that enough to break your heart and to worship the Lord? Next slide. Next point. Jesus was treated by God as if He had committed every sin. At ito doon ko, ever committed by every person who would ever believe to Him was perfectly innocent of sin. So, point, that's point number one. Substitution na. Substitution na. There is an exchange. Point number two. Oh, sabi nito. Oh. Basta naman sa nito. Pabalik ko itong verse. 2 Corinthians 5.21 God made him who do no sin. Who had no sin. Sa ibang sa ibang religion, who do no sin. Ibig sabihin talaga, innocent. To be what? To be sin for us. So that in Him, we might become the righteousness of God. Next slide. Sa'yo po ito, no? While we were still sinners, Christ died 
Fortan Gadi. Remember the Gadi by the enemies of God. Sabi sa, sa verse 8, But God demonstrates His own love for us while we were still sinners, while we were still enemies of God. Christ died for us. Wala pa naman kita pag-ibigin sa akin. Cross is a capital sin. 
The cross is for capital sins during the time. He died that kind of death. Imagine, Son of God who is sinless died for you. The most shameful death. Tapos sa'yo na hiya tayo magpa-identify na siya, no? Next. Jesus willingly submitted to the will of the Father to suffer daily and die in place of sinners. Next slide. Parang ito. Parang ito na ako. Substitutionary and sacrificial. Parang ito, propitiationary. Christ appeased God's work against sinners. Appease. Ang sila may appease. Kunwari, nasubo ko parang si Mapari ko, matindi na tatay tsaka nanay ko. Yung very tagay ko sila. Tapos, for them to vent out and to exhaust their kanin against me. Talagang napalo na ako ng kanin. Sa iyo ang saka ng bayabas. Sa kanin ko. May mga pag... Parang parang ma-imagine yun yung ibig sabihin. Galit na galit talaga ang Diyos sa kasalanan. At siya kahit na yan ay hindi sinful in there. But He is, since He is a holy, just God, karapatan niya mag-galit sa kasalanan. And over the years, He is passing over, He is covering the sin because of atonement. And then one day, Jesus Christ came. Lahat ng kasalanan ng mga tao ang magtitiwala sa Kanya at nagtiwala sa Kanya, ibinuhos na lahat doon ang galit niya sa Kanya kahit sa isang nakanta. Alam niyo ba yung sinasabi niyo sa Christ doon sa ano? Ano mo ngayon? Get sa meaning? Mahalin? Yung... Ayan? Yung cup? It symbolizes the cup of the wrath of God. And so God has to drink it. He drank the full wrath of God for our sins. Propitiation. But what is propitiation? What do you mean by that? Exhausting or spending the wrath on us. Like for example, when you get rid of your sins, you know, your sins that are very big, you know, that are very costly, you know, 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 Bigyan nyo yung down, nag-freak out, pero pupulit. Diyo na tayo ng damas. Ibinuhos ko ang kanilang na para sa akin sa akin. Buhos. Buhos. Walang reservation. Buhos. Next. Para makikita natin sa pinito. Yet, may consider him speaking by God, smitten by Him. He always speak. Smitten, smitten. Para kang para sa mayroong bahay na gusto mong islay na talaga nung ibinubus mo yung lakas mo. Just a question. Ito siya yun yun. Ano ba? Afflicted. Next verse. But he was pierced for us to get translation. Crushed and wounded. Next. Ano ba ba? Bro. Spiyan. For he was cut even dying. Bro. Cut off from the land of the living. He was speaking for this nation. Somebody moved forward para tanggapin lahat ng galit ko. Ito ko yung Father God the Father. Illustration na. For him. Ako na. Ako na. Saktan nyo. Para gilang. Dramatize nila. But if you get me, somebody try to manggap ng blow para sa kanya. Next. Next bro. So again, Jesus has received the God's blood spread on him in place of sinners. Next, ano ba? Next slide po. Ayan. Jesus entered, Jesus endured every punishment. Pantas nito mga word na. Jesus endured every punishment, wounds, blows, mockery. Remember, He is the Son of God and He has no sin. But He endured all this. Ano ba? Jesus ultimately gave His life to be substitute object of wrath. Pwede nga ito yung object of wrath, para lang ma-imagine natin. Pwede sabi yung object of wrath, ito yung bagay na ito yung galit na galit ka. At tayo dapat yung diba? We are objects of God's sight, sabi sa Ephesians. But no, they're the objects of God's sight. Siya yung bagong object of God's sight. During the time, 
Ayan pwede kanya naman yung buhay. Next. Pangapat, it is reconciliatory. Nakata tayo, substitutionary, sacrificial, propitiationary, and reconciliatory. What's the purpose of atonement? Reconciliation. Sa ito kanina, ang tao ang walang kasaya na mag-atone para sa kanyang sarili. And sa panitid. That's the purpose of relation. Para magkaroon kami ng maayos na relasyon muli ni Pastor Albert Al sa bagay ay bumagin na na. At nagbigin ang sakripisyon ng bigin ng tuwan. Sabi yung verse verse, But he was first for our transgressions, na hindi natin yan kanina, he was first for our iniquities, our, the punishment that brought us peace was upon him. Para magkaroon kami ng peace ni Kuya Dens, kailangan kami maparusahan. Jesus Christ. Okay. So that I can have it. Maayos yung relationship namin ni ni Nana and Baby. Remember, we are talking about reconciliation, pero malapit yung reconciliation yan. It is a una vertical reconciliation. We have reconciliation before God because of what Jesus Christ did. And we can have reconciliation of all our brothers because of what Jesus Christ did. What is my indication? To deny reconciliation is to deny the gospel. Masakit. Ako. Maraming nakasakit sa atin. Para man naman tayo sa atin, di ba? If God forgave us, we should forgive. If God made the way to reconcile to us, the same sacrifice has the same purpose for our resort or sold that relationship. Next. Jesus at all meant to procure our peace with God. Degrade that and peace among our brothers. Like what makes it nung kailan ako nag-habon ng aking requirements sa ano? Sa OT, NT survey. Sabi ng, sabi ng, sabi ng John, first John, God put forth Jesus Christ as a propitiation for us so that we can love our brothers. May application na kayo. Next. Brought this again. Ay, sorry. Sige po. Sabi po sa Romans 5 verse 8. Sabi nyo. Since we have been now justified by His blood, how much more will be Saved from God's wrath through Him. So I said, for a year we were God's enemies. That's the reality. We were reconciled to Him through the death of His Son. Next slide, Paul. Yeah. So point number five, tayo. So I bring point number five. It is triumphantly. Redemptional. Mahalagang mahalaga yung word na triumphant. Pag sabi triumphant, ang isang ibang ibang sabi nga is victorious. Tama? Tapos redemption, ano natin? Redeem. Talagang ito. Talagang ito binayaran. Nakukuha niya yung gusto niya. Nakukuha niya. Again, may isa may isang question gusto kong i-correct. Sabi ng maraming preachers ngayon na nagbaya daw si Lord kay Satan para may ligtas tayo. Para may ligtas tayo. Wrong. Jesus Christ sacrificed His life not to Satan, but to God. Walang kinalaman si Satan dito. Walang hindi tayo kinalaman dito. It is Christ's initiative and God's initiative that He will be like and that He will justify people to the death of Christ. So, you know, ngayon, ngayon, ganito ang case. Pag may kinawa si Lord, matatuwa ba yun ang tao? Dapat hindi. Masa yun yung verse. Next. Verses, please. Number one, yet it was the Lord's will to crush him and cause him to suffer. And though, take it up, and though the Lord makes him, makes it like a guilt offering, that is so that's the point, he will see his offspring and prolong his days. Dito pa lang nakikita mo na yung prayam. Parang ang parang nakita. Diba? It is the Lord's will to crush him. Namatay siya. But it is so that's the point. He will see his offspring. And what? And prolong his days. Di ba naman tayo siya? Dito, 
Dito ay dinideclare ng Lord at pinaprofesa niya na ang resurrection. Na meron na accomplish the Lord sa cross. At ang tingin ito, and the will of the Lord will prosper in His hand. Ano purpose ng atonement? To appease God's strength, to reconcile people to God, and that will has prospered in the hand of His faithful servant, Jesus Christ. Brother, may purpose ako. Yung purpose ko, pinagawa ko kay Brother June. Sinasabi dito, My will has prospered in the hands But you should, what's the purpose? To save sinners? To request the sinners? He did it perfectly, completely, finally, ultimately. May question? Pag sinasabi ang tao na siya yung kasyano pero he ended up in hell, what's that thing? What does that thing? Para hindi siya kasama sa mga tao na atong Lord Jesus Christ. Kasi he probably doesn't give me something else but the death of Jesus Christ. Kasi, ang purpose nyo ay mag-prosper. Pag hindi yan prosper, hindi ka na-feel na ito. Medyo ko bilang. Next, next point. After the suffering of his soul, he will see light of life. Ayun na, may matutung ko na yung verse 10 at verse 11. Pero kung sapan nito yung resurrection. Sabi sa mga niya, you will see light of life and be satisfied. Sa be satisfied with what? Nagawa na sa iyong kanyang purpose. Sabi ni Jesus Christ nung namatay sa cross, He said, it is finished. He has accomplished what He had come to do. Yung will na Lord para sa kanya, it prospered. Ano pa sabi niya? By the knowledge of my righteous servant, uh, by his knowledge, my righteous servant will justify me finally. It is triumphantly redemption. But the purpose na mangyayari, wala pa ang atwag. Even say that. Even pag sabasama nyo yung tao, wala. So, mayo, after the summary of his soul, namatay siya, he will see light of, light of life, the resurrection at ano, and be satisfied, tapos na. As of God, and by His knowledge, my righteous servant will justify me. Point, next, next point is, so I'm going to, uh, uh, and final point is this one, uh, number six, it is particular, Christ died for God's chosen people. Ito, medyo, ito na po yung, ito na po, iumpisang i-open yung idea ng Lipita na Tony. Sabi ng marami, na matay si Kristo sa bawat isang tao na nabubuhay sa mundo. Pero sinabi ko kanina sa point number 6, ang plan ng Diyos ay triumphantly redemption. Kung namatay si Kristo sa bawat tao, bakit pa yung pupunta ng interno? Hindi ka pa tiyo. hindi na ba siya? Did you get my idea? Did you get my idea? Did you get my idea? Pag namatay si Cristo sa bawat isang tao, lahat, lahat, indiscriminately, pero may napunta na yung perno. It means that the Christ, the Christ's death is powerless. Where does that go? Sabi sa ating nabasa, yung will the Lord for Him will prosper and He will justify many, not all, Particular. But some in particular, he died for somebody particular, definite, specific. Pasa ito verse. Sabi dito, ito yung ginagamit ng maraming modern day pictures. Na sabi, namatay si Cruz para sa mga tao. Para sila, bukas na yun, pero namin hindi. Pag namatay si Cruz para sa mga tao, definitely yung tao na yun ay bumag sa langit. Sabi sa Bible, napagkala natin ito, Romans 8. Those who he persisted, he called. But when it's like that, you will be called. What's next? You will be justified. May na wala ba sa call? It will be called and justified? May na wala ba between persisted and called? Wala. Well, because justified ba? 
sanctified. But here's the thing. Pag nag-tans, Lord, no one can try them. Ngayon, kung naman na si Christ para sa, si, si Christo para sa tao, at mayroon po kung talagang pero, pinapakita nito na powerless yung, kahit yung, yung kamatayan ni Christo, yung plus, and that's wrong. Hindi ko makita yung sinabi niya. So, so, those who He pestied, He called. And those He called, He what? Justified. May nawala? Wala. Tiyan nito, Chris. Ito, Isaiah 50 verse 6, kinagamit ito ng mga Armenian to say that God died for everybody universally, whether they will be saved or not. Basta yun lang. But then, grammatically, mag-isip na yung may yung ako tila. Tingin yung aking argument. Sabi nyo nito, we all sabi nyo, alam na ganda, lahat sila lahat tayo sino ang writer? ay sayang sino kaya kausap niya? sino kausap niya? silence Diyos kausap niya ba lahat ng tao? lahat ng Diyos kaya sabi nyo, we all like sheep have God as name, each of us. Pag sabi ni each of all pa rin yan eh. Kaya kaya na kinagamit na argument ng mga Armenian o ng mga ibang group na ibang more than the na sasabi na yung kapatay ni Christo ay para sa lahat pero may makupunta ng pyerno which, which they blast in God na powerless. I don't believe that. Sabi nito, we all. Sino all? We. Sino yung we? Israelites. Like sheep have God as name, each of us has turned his own Way. And the Lord has laid on him the iniquity of us all. Ang titig nila kasi ng marami, all. Pero sa pala yung us. Sino yung us na yan? Parang pwede ko sabihin, lahat tayo dito. Sino yung kausap ko? Ayaw. Church. Kausap ko yung nasa labas? Hindi. Yan ang problema ng maraming pictures. They are not really looking into what God really says. And they put their own idea on the thing. Aha, may mga students, mga kapatid, tingin nyo ito. Grabe yung family sa labas. People are blasphemy in God na kumakatok lang siya, parang matandang lalaki na may mga kaawa sa'yo, parang sabihin siya, hey, my God is the Lord of hosts. He can do whatever he wants. Ramiya, we all and sheep have gone astray, each of us. Ano ang idea nito? Lahat tayo ay nagkasana pa to. Lahat tayo ay nagkawatak-watak. Ano pa? Lahat ng kasalanan ay naipato sa kanya. Pero merong natin, merong tayo na pag-usapan. Next point. Ramiya, after the sufferings of his soul, we will see light of life and satisfy his knowledge. By his knowledge, the righteous the servant will justify all. Masabi? Sa yung hindi niya. Question mark. Next point. Next, next verse. For he bore the sin of all. And made intercession for the scarcers. So sino yung many? Sino yung many na yan? Sino yung we na yan? Sino yung each of us? Sino yung us all na yan? Next point. Next point. Okay, lalo ba sa text? Stay in the text. Ano sabi ng text? For he was cut off from the land of the living for the transgressions of transgressions of transgressions of hindi ko rin ay my people. May pinapatunguhan, may dinatarget, may definite, pero particular may specific people ang kamatayan nila. And that is for His people. Now, lahat ng belonging to God's people is the appearance. And praise Him! Praise Him! It's worthy of our praise. You may say, Paano na sila? Paano na? God elects. God 
knows what is siya ko yung pinag. Remember, hindi ka talagang karapat dapat dito. Hindi ka talagang karapat dapat dito. Kaya alam lang nito, it's all by the grace of God that I was just justified. Wala tayong dapat magmalaki dito, mga kapatid. Nakuha nyo? Pag nagpapas sa kailangan kailangan, dito yan talaga ako ng context. Sino yung kausap? Very important siya, mga kapatid. Kapag nangit tayo ng isli. Next one. Ito pa yung mga point. Number one. Jesus said, applies to particular people. Just to bring my home point, uh, my point home. Jesus then applies to particular people. Next. Jesus sacrifice applies to many, not all, to many people. Next. Jesus accomplishment applies to all his people. Next. Jesus work of atonement works for the particular people's all sin. Para ganito yan. Para ganito na yun. Bumil, ako, ako si Kyle Caruaria, bumili ako ng mga tao, kapatawarin ko, at gusto ko marahin ka sa kanila. Kasi may purpose ako. Anong purpose ko? For them to live holy and blameless in my sight. Kuna niya kay Father. So what I did, I sent Jesus Christ to atone for their sin. Ano ang extent at ano ang grabe tingin ng kanyang pinuma? He took all your sin. All your sin. Not the sins of the whole world, but all the sins of the people that He has chosen from the beginning of time. Those who will trust in Him. Patikaran. Limitado. Hindi limitado ang power. Hindi limitado ang power ng atonement. Ang limitado yung mga tao. Pero sa ito. Pero okay? Pero ka To summarize na ako, here's my, here's the idea. <clears throat> Jesus' work of atonement is the plan of God to save His people from from sin, definitely, ultimately, and eternally. Anything lower than that, That's what's transferred. Para ng patawas si Lord, completo. Sa mga sabay ko, pabili na yung under, under, you know, He who began a good work in you. Alam mo, Susan, He will carry on until the day of completion. Walang kawawala sa mga pinili niya. Because Christ died for them. I believe that God's death is sufficient for all people. But there is a purpose. He died for His people definitely, ultimately, and eternally that they can find, they may find life. Hindi yan, hindi yan yung parang bitch na pukul. Hindi yan parang bitch na pukul na hindi ka makakabot ka lang tumuha ng dagdag na faith, dagdag na gawa. No! Yung faith mo, even sa gift of God, kaya ka naka-avail ng atonement ng reconciliation is because Christ accomplished it on the cross. It is finished, he said. Next. So, again, Jesus substituted His innocent, holy life to receive just holy wrath of God and, spent, and was spent on Him in place of sinners so that they may have reconciliation with God through faith in Christ. I have made my point. Ano ba? The power of Christ's death and resurrection is available and effective for all those who will believe in Him. So here's my proposition. Number one. Put your faith in what Christ has accomplished for you on the cross. Do not stand on something else. Everything else, sabi lang isang kanta, is sinking sand. Stand on the solid ground. Jesus Christ. Mga kapata, huwag tayo magtawala sa education, sa yaman, those will pass away. So, mga kapata, mga friends, mga kapata, what? Sa mundong nito? Wala. Sa mga buti gawa mo? Wala. Lulubukin lahat. Put your full trust and 
faith in Christ alone. Brothers, sisters, I pray with you. Tagli natin yung mga self-confidence. Tagli na. Put your full faith in Christ. Point number two. Be totally grateful to God. Uh, be, be totally grateful to God's initiative. Very important to our initiative. Hindi may sabahan na kalumahan sa Diyos para huwag niya ang tawad. Kaya naman huwag niya ang tawad kasi niya pakita ng Lord sa iyo ang kanyang kindness at nalalapitan pala ang Diyos. Hindi lang yun, kapatid. Keep on ready sa this own son to die for your sin. Tapos ngayon, ayun ako mga kapatid. Lapit tayo mga kapatid. At pagpasalamat tayo sa mga be totally grateful to God's initiative in saving you and making a way for your reconciliation with you. Hindi kasi natin kaya gawin eh. Saan doon mo ah? Kaya point number one tsaka point number two ang kasi magkasama. Una, iligay mo muna, ilagaw mo muna yung pagtitiwala mo, lahat-lahat ng yan sa Diyos. At pangpasalaman ka na yung hindi mo kaya gawin ay ginawa niya ang kasi. And very important. Hindi natin alam kung sila maritas, but God knows it. It's not our business to withdraw the gospel message. But it's our duty to, you know, oh, talagang isa ako eh. Sabi mo, share to everyone you know the way of salvation. That they may believe in Him. Sabi sa Bible, those, uh, John 12 verse, 1 verse 12, those na magtitiwala sa Diyos, na nagabig siya, magtitiwala sa Kanya, pinigyan niya ng pig, pinigyan niya ng karapatan para magtitiyan ng Diyos. Para lang ground. May ground siya. Ito yung mga binorna din ni Lord. Not because of what they do, but because of His will. Well, so what will you do? Share your gospel indiscriminately. It is God who calls anyway. You will be called externally, God will call internally. Kasi alam niya kung sinililitas niya. Kaya kung nag-abis ko sa magulang muna, ayaw maligtas, ayaw pa ayaw pa tagapis Lord, ayaw maligtas, sorry, ayaw pa tagapis Lord, okay lang. Baka isang araw. Baka isang araw. It's God, it's God who grants repentance to me. Amen? Kung ayaw nung kasama sa bayas ng Jesus, baka okay lang, huwag kang tumigil. Understanding that meron tayo si Lord, at pag pinili ni Lord, dati yung araw na pumunta yan dito. Our duty is to call externally. Tama! Punta ka! Punta ka! Lalo! Sumali ka sa EBS, sumali ka sa discipleship classes, sumali ka sa CDSA, mag-aaral ka may game, parang makalawag ka. O ilan pa ba sa mga kapatid natin na nililigtas? Ilan pa ba sa mga kamagayan na nililigtas? And then, tayo, wala tayo sinasabit ako sa kalitasan, unfair mo. Tama? May God bless us all. Alam pa ang God, sir.